I'm Nora St. John, the Education Program Director for Balanced Body, and I'm here with... Joy Paleo, the Education Program Manager with Balanced Body, and the little devil on my shoulder is... Hi, I'm Karen Fishman. Yoo-hoo! And we're here on the Contrology Cadillac to introduce you to... The Neck Stretcher! ta da 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 So Karen, tell us a little bit about the Neck Stretcher and why it's an important apparatus. The neck stretcher is um, such a great tool to add into our Pilates tool box. It is a advanced piece of apparatus, um, and it's so great to connect the head to the rest of the body. It strengthens and stretches the muscles of the neck. It releases tension in the upper back, um, strengthens and less, uh, lengthens the muscles of the spine and the back, and it's a really fabulous tool for strong um, students to be able to improve um, the alignment of the head and the neck. You know, we are on computers and tech so much that I think it's important to incorporate into, uh, you know, as many workouts as we possibly can for the right individuals. So it's really interesting. We're bringing back something that was old and in the archives in many ways uh, and bringing it, making it new again. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're doing it using virtual technology in our current world. And I don't know about you, but I can't wait to make the new old again. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Let's go back, back to the future. <laughs> Forward to the past. <laughs> All right, so Nora's going to demonstrate the neck stretcher. So why don't you just talk us through the very first thing she needs to do? Well, the first thing she needs to do, we can use the neck stretcher in um, a variety of ways on the Cadillac, and we can use almost any of the springs that we have available. So today we're going to use the rollback bar springs for the most of the exercises. You can use the arm springs or the leg springs. You know, if I have a, a, a guy, a more fit guy, maybe a wrestler, maybe a boxer, I might use the heavier leg springs. So we're going to take the rollback bar springs, we're going to bring them down, and we're going to attach them to the leg spring hooks for the first exercise, first two exercises. Right. So Nora's going to start seated on the, on the Cadillac, so she's bringing the springs down. They're going to be at the leg spring level, which is pretty much halfway up the pole. And then we're going to connect them to the swivel hook on the next stretcher. Now you can either connect them together without a dog clip, or you can use the dog clips and that will give a little bit more length and a little bit less uh, spring tensioning for the exercise. And then Nora is going to place the headband around her head. And she's gonna grab the front of the strap. Now, this is for safety to make sure that it doesn't slip off because we've got our body weight pulling against the weight of the spring. She's gonna bring her elbows up wide and her shoulders down so that she can connect the arms into the back so that she's not moving up and forward into the traps. And the first exercise is going to be the reach or a hinge back. She's gonna stay in the tall back lengthen out for as long as she can hold the position, and then she's going to come up tall. Um, depending on the student's height, their feet may be against the pole, maybe not, also depending on the spring choice. Right. Center's pulled in and up, back is nice and long. She's going to resist the weight of the spring and use that to find all of those stabilizing muscles in the back of the neck and the back. Right. And they About three to five reps, depending on the student. And the hinge, she only goes back as far as she can maintain the integration of the head with the trunk. That's correct. Okay. Um, this, uh, watching Nora do this, Nora got an awful lot of motion out of this, and she used the, the arm springs, uh, the roll-down bar springs. Yeah. Uh, bar springs, the, yes. Yep. So if she used, is it possible to use leg springs on this? Absolutely. We can use the arm springs, the leg springs, um, they're again going every time that we change the resistance, we're going to change the exercise a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, the leg springs definitely will give a little bit more resistance because they're a heavier spring, but she's also going to be in a different position on the Cadillac because they are longer. Right. Right. So for Nora who has good, good flexibility and, uh, um, and, and a lot of length, these springs are appropriate for her. Yeah, she's getting enough movement, she's getting enough traction. If they were uh, any heavier, 
um, she might get stuck or she might not have that full range of mo motion. So the springs will match to the client. Terrific. Awesome. What's next? <sighs> All right, we're going to take that um, and turn it around. We're going to keep the springs in the same position, and we're going to move into what we call a round back position or forward flexion. So it's very much like doing the spine stretch forward, but really being able to incorporate the head and the neck into that entire spine stretch. Hand position, again, we're going to stabilize the headband. Elbows are out wide, so we get the back connected. Nora's going to feel the tension of the spring, and then she's going to round her back. And we're going to notice that we're going to be able to get that head integrated into the neck and into the spine. Mm. The stronger the individual, um, the more flexion we're going to be able to get. We can possibly, depending on the spring choice and the strength of the person doing the exercise, be able to come all the way down into that round back position. Hey. That's not necessarily the goal, it is a goal. What we really want to make sure that we do is get that entire uh, chain of muscles to work to get the entire back line to work as well. Got it. And Nora, what are you feeling? How does that feel for you? Um, this one and the other one just integrate the whole body. So I feel the front of the neck, I feel the whole torso, even into the hip flexors, mm -hmm. so that really the whole front of the body is related to that flexion. Mm -hmm. Just like the whole back of the body, even from the hamstrings to the glutes, were related to the, the, the tilt back on the previous one. Right. This right. really does integrate everything. Super, super. Yeah. One of the things that I really like about the way the neck stretch works is that we have to work both the front and the back neck muscles. A lot of times we're so focused on stretching through the back of the neck because people are tight there, but we really do have to activate those front neck muscles as well. Nice. Good. And you know, it's nice watching Nora do this as, as you're going into the flexion with each one, you, you get a little deeper into it and the neck, you could actually yeah, see it. the neck integrate, that neck flexion integrate into the flexion of the entire spine, as opposed to the head falling forward or leading. Yeah, really yes. lovely. So often the head is the last bit to go. I mean, some people flex without their head or they'll lean back without their head. Mm -hmm. And this really just brings that connection in, you know, connects the head to the body, yeah. whereas the head is often floating off in its own land up here. You know what it doesn't allow? It doesn't allow it's at that C7, the shift, the, yeah. the chin yeah, shift, it really, it really stays nice and integrated. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So those are lovely. Thank you, Karen. All right, what's next? All right, so the next uh, exercise is going to be the thigh stretch. I um. really love this exercise. So we're still on the table of the Cadillac, and we're going to bring the springs up to the top hooks, the rollback foot hooks. And we're going to be facing the springs. Again, we're going to bring the headband. You know what? I actually think I'm going to take you in front of Nora. Let's go here. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Now, again, we want to maintain the alignment of that tall back. So we want to make sure that when we're leaning back into the thigh stretch, whether we have the neck stretcher or not, that we're maintaining that um, alignment all the way through the spine. And again, using the resistance of the spring, using the weight as we stretch the head back into the spring, we're going to get a different alignment in the head. Nora was exactly right in the last exercise, which is that it's going to really bring the head into alignment with the body. It's going to open up all of those muscles in the back and connect the entire body top to bottom. So this, this looks really for a thigh stretch, a delicious way to do this. Nora, how are you feeling this? It's so integrated. It's like you can't put it this way. There's so many places you could do this wrong, but mm -hmm. you would immediately feel it. So mm -hmm. for example, if somebody's breaking at the hips, right, <laughs> right, right, you just collapse. Right. If somebody's not including the head, it becomes something else. Right. So, you know, this, the, second, the second you push back into this slightly and then begin that lean back, activation through the entire back chain, hips open up, abdominals lift up, and it's just really, it's, it's, it's easy in a way. 
You know, it's easier than the other versions of this. Well, when you have the straps so in, your, in your hands, right? Right. The, the, the emphasis gonna is... They're going to do like something else. Yeah, yeah. This whole thing is like, okay, that's the, that's the cue. Everything is going back at once. What it looks like uh, watching you is that there's this integration really through the head. Yeah. Right? And, and uh, there's this lovely trust that's happening with the springs. And so oh, even the whole front body looks like it just, it just goes back farther. It's, it's willing to go with, you know, go with the, the neck stretcher. That's, that looks really lovely, yeah. And you know, also what I like about this is when we do the thigh stretch, whether we're doing it on the armchair or the reformer or the Cadillac, um, it's, we have the arms in front of us, so it's a different connection. Now on the thigh stretch, uh, one of the things that people struggle with when we do it around the room is working against the spring to come up. So it's really easy yeah. to find the weight of the spring when we work in an extension. Mm -hmm. But now we have the opportunity to work into the back of that headband as we come up so that we can get greater um, integration through the body. Oh, that, ooh, that looks yeah, good. Exactly. Nicely done, Nora. Yeah, because that, that, cause you've got the control there. Yeah. You don't always have the control with the arms. But here you really have complete control and you can choose your tempo. You, know, you can choose kind of where you come up from and how you pull all that together. Yeah, exactly. that's really lovely. And in, in a lot of times in the exercise when we do it with the rollback bar or on the reformer, finding that control on the way back is great, but we almost have to manufacture it um, as we come up. We have to teach through it. Whereas if we have this, the resistance of the spring, we can actually use that to our advantage to teach that in this exercise. Again, and I, I have to stress this as we go through this, this is this is a, an advanced piece of apparatus. I need to know that someone can hold their center before I put them in there because of the yeah. spring. Mm -hmm. And you make it look so easy <laughs> that I, you know, I just want to make sure that people who are watching these videos know that. There, there is a huge amount of sort of glute hamstring connection for me because this is what yeah. wants to happen. And, and so again, really pushing the bottom of the pelvis forward, engaging the bottom of those glutes. So when I come back, I'm, again, I'm opening here more than I ever would in a regular thigh stretch, which is really great, you know, getting a nice openness to the hip. Yeah, and, but and really watching, feeling the support from the back. Yeah, but watching you, Nora, having the, the, the head integrated, allows this to click on more, yeah, Allo more, allows you to find this because you get the whole back line, whereas yeah. a lot of that energy gets dissipated or lost right, if, if, I'm here. if you're here or if you're pressing down with the arms, yeah. right? So this, yeah. But yes, it's an advanced effort. You have to be able to, to maintain your center and be able to really integrate the head um, as, you know, in order to find that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fabulous. Super. Um, that's all we have on the Cadillac. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take this off and we're gonna show you some stuff standing alongside the back end. Uh, so we're back and we have a few more things to show you with the neck stretcher. Uh, Nora is off the back end of the Cadillac and Karen is gonna take her through a few more exercises. Thanks, Joy. All right, so the first two exercises um, off the end of the Cadillac are a series of squats or a set of squats. And the first one, we're going to hook the springs up to the rollback bar hooks. And we're going to bring the headband around the head, hands in front, all good stuff. We want to make sure that we're far enough away so that we have a little bit of tension in the spring. It's not open, but uh, it's, it's taut. We're going to be heels together, toes apart. And we're going to lift up onto the ball of the foot. And we're going to be reaching back into the back of the neck stretcher. And then from here, we're going to lengthen down into a full squat. And then we're going to lengthen back up. Hey, Karen, what's nice, because I'm not sure you can see Nora, is as she really um, works into that neck stretcher, she gets deeper and deeper with each of her little squats there. Right. It offers an incredible amount of support and having the springs at that position above, um, it really offers a lot of lift and length yeah. through the head and the neck. Watch and Nora go up. Oh, she gets really a lot of length at the top. Yeah. And just a lot of support for that squat. 
it's a very different kind of support than if we're working through the arm springs um, or even the rollback bar great. when we do the yeah. Great. Good. Nora, how do you feel there? That feels great. It gives a lot of support. It makes it easy to go down, take some of the, light, the, light, the weight off as you go down. Mm -hmm. But also I think it's because you're activating that whole back chain, keeps you lifted up out of your knees and your hips. So it's a really nice sense of length. Right. So how is that going to change, Karen, when we change where the spring is attached? Well, because the spring is working at the, uh, against the body at a different angle, so for many people, we're going to be sort of in line with the head or close to it. Um, the, uh, the way that we're tensioning against the neck, what we're working in the neck and the back, uh, the purpose of the exercise is going to change a little bit. So when we're down at the um, standing arm spring hook height, and we do the squats from there, we're really actually developing a little bit more strength in the neck um, rather than sort of that kind of lift or tractioning feeling that we're going to get from above. So, you know, you have to remember, Joe worked with um, a lot of boxers. He had boxing right. in his right. um, in his life. And so having a strong neck for a boxer is essential. And so some of these exercises uh, were geared towards that, building that strength. Is that so what you feel, Nora? Yeah, this is much more directly on the neck. I feel less of the lift and the elongation, and I yeah. feel just a lot of real strength in the neck, which is, especially if somebody's forward head, it feels like this particularly gets that upper part of the cervical, which helps to really bring that chin back. Right. So it's right. lovely, it kind of targets that directly. And, and, and watching you, it didn't have the same Emphasis, you know, you weren't able to go necessarily down as far, yeah. and you didn't get the same lift. It had more, it had more of that feeling of going yeah. back. It's not as much traction, not as yeah. much lift. Yeah, nice. Okay. Right. All right. And yeah, and full squat. It's going to require more, a little bit more sort of squat ability. Squat um, ability. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and from above, you're going to have a little bit less support in the actual motion of the squat. Great. So I right, uh, so go ahead. Nora's turning around. Perfect. And uh, from here, we're going to move into um, a forward lunge position. So we're this is sort of the standing version of the exercise of the rounded back exercise or round back exercise that we did seated on the Cadillac. So Nora is going to be facing away from the Cadillac. Hands are behind. Again, we're always safeting, safeting that headband. Mm -hmm. um, just to make sure we have it, that the shoulders are down the back, we're not up and forward, um, so that we're not sort of uh, contracting in the neck while we're doing these exercises. She's going to step forward with one leg into a forward lunge position, uh, front leg is bent, and she's going to round her back and stretch forward. And again, in that position, the weight of the spring is going to help connect the head and the neck into the entire spine. And then she's going to roll back up, step back, and switch. Sweet. Sweet. So this, uh, this is a standing version of what we did uh, very much seated on the Cadillac. Yes. Good. And again, I sort of like the fact, the standing version, because we're grounded, we can get really that full body working from heel all the way through the top of the head. Is that your experience, Nora? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice, again, integration. That's what this all does. It just pulls all the body parts together in a right. really lovely way. Right. Right. So uh, now Nora's transitioning the neck stretcher, uh, and she's taking off the arm springs. Uh, but right. she. Go ahead. So take her through these. All right. Yeah. So this last series, this is going to actually be the most common uh, series of exercises that you're going to see for the next stretcher. And it's really, a, it's a great group of um, alignment exercises. So we're going to stand tall, generally in that heels together, toes apart position. And we're going to stretch. We're going to let the body lean into the weight of the spring. So we're going to anchor through the heels, nice tall center. And then as we come back, we're going to resist the weight of the spring. Again, controlling that 
contraction of the spring is going to work the stabilizing muscles in a different way. All right, so now she's turning around. She's facing the, the Cadillac. She's going to do the same thing, but only she's going to lean back into it. Great. And taking the spring off, Nora, how does that feel? And, and going directly to the it's, it's more it's not it's not isometric because I'm getting some motion out of it but there's certainly a limit there right so I feel like I'm just coming into that strong position right quite quickly and feeling that whole integration through the whole that whole line so again this right. is a, a good time to remind everyone that these are advanced exercises you're dealing with the neck and you're dealing with um, some pretty significant forces but these are a lovely way to balance look at Nora went front back and now she's going to do side to side I'm sorry Karen what were you going to say no, I was going to say, yeah, they are. However, we can um, work this particular series with Magic Circle, um, which will lessen the strength a little bit. Um, or we can even just use the hands pressing on the sides, front and back of the head um, to start to just get a little bit of that integration happening in a um, less forceful way. Right. And the hands would really be an isometric contraction. Right. Okay. But again, this integrates the, the head, the neck, the support into the entire body. Super. All right. All right. So I think that is pretty much the, the neck stretcher. Uh, Nora, who already had a, a beautiful long neck to begin with. <laughs> I'm going to giraffe now, mode now. Uh, now it's beautiful, long, and very well balanced. Thank you, Karen. We want to thank you for, for joining us today, even if it's virtually. Uh, we can't wait to have you here. Uh, and Nora, thank you for, for being our model and helping us to understand exactly what we're feeling with this. Yeah. And that is the next stretcher.